Good morning, Trade, as well. The risk on session on Monday, bolstered by that uh, Chinese decision to help prop up their stocks by reducing stamp duty, saw the predictable drop. The US dollar and 10 year yields as well. Uh, risk currencies saw the most benefit from that, with the Aussie dollar being the biggest beneficiary. It's also bolstered, obviously, by that news out of China. So the US dollar was lower to start the week, um, erasing Friday's gains, but after we saw that really decisive push late last week above that. 103.60 resistance in the dollar index. Um, besides the China news, there's pretty thin news flow out of the US. Um, primary driver really was that risk sentiment. So that will definitely change in the coming days with some key risk events uh, on this week's calendar, including non-farm payroll on Friday, obviously. Uh, dollar index printed a higher 104.21. Found a bit of resistance at those uh, May-June highs there. Cyclical currencies, uh, Aussie dollar and Kiwi dollar, uh, were stronger against the US dollar. The outperformance was seen by the Aussie uh, with an upward revision in retail sales figures and also those uh, that Chinese news as mentioned before. Um, Aussie dollar, US bounced decisively from that major 64 uh, 64 US cents support level, uh, stayed above that level the whole session and, and managed to get a high of around 64.40. Uh, pound and Kiwi dollar saw mild gains. Pound was obviously on holiday, so um, a bit held back by that. But the Kiwi dollar, like its Aussie counterpart, saw a bounce, so a hold of that major support level at 59 US cents. But that, um, that outperformance the Aussie dollar saw the Aussie Kiwi cross rally to around 108. 78, which is uh, setting new highs for the month. So Aussie traders have the new RBA governor, incoming RBA governor Bullock to look forward to the speech later today in Australia. Uh, Japanese yen was the G10 underperformer. Uh, losses versus the US dollar. Goldman Sachs note out of interest um, predicted dollar yen to hit highs not seen since 1990 if the Bank of Japan sticks to its dovish stance with a projection of around 155. So that's interesting coming from um, someone like Goldman Sachs if, if that comes about. Uh, dollar high, US dollar yen hit about high about 146.75 in Monday. Uh, it was constrained somewhat by a little bit of resistance there at the August highs, but the yen underperforming despite um, US yields dropping is, uh, is a bit worrisome for anyone who's is bullish to yen. Uh, resistance level there looks precarious at best and, and any raise in uh, yields, the US yields, I could see that breaking quite easily. Uh, gold took advantage of a weaker US dollar and those uh, falling yields, so continuing its, its week-long rally off that major support there around 1885. So XAU USD hit a high of 1926. Uh, the next test you know, on a technical point of view looking to be that June-July uh, support resistance level um, today's economic calendar it starts getting a little bit busier. RBA incoming governor, as mentioned before, also some jobs and consumer confidence figures out of the US.